Welcome to Math with Mrs. Cox. We are in Chapter 12, Lesson 9, My Homework, and it is on page 959. We're talking about the volume of prisms. Please make sure that you've done the guided practice, and let's dive into that. Quick recap. A couple of different ways you can find volume. Length times width times height, or remember in the previous guided practice, they combined length and width, and sometimes they would write base times height volume. It's another way to do it. All right, let's dive into this, shall we? Find the volume for each prism. So we've got our little handy dandy formula of <clears throat> length times width times height. So we're going to do eight, or see, let's do something easier first. Let's do 10 times eight. 10 times eight times 15, the volume. Well, I know that 10 times 8 is 80. So then it looks like I'm just going to have to find 80 times 15. Remember my little trick that anything with a 0, I always like to put it on the bottom, so it makes life a little easier. 0 times everything is 0. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 1 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 1,200, and we're measuring in yards yards cubed because it's a three-dimensional object there we go okay now this one they did a shortcut for us they did length times width already so we have a base of 176 times 4 so I'm gonna do 176 times 4 you probably can do this faster than me and that's okay 28 29 30 4 5 6 7 704 centimeters cubed because it's a three-dimensional object, please. Good job. Volume is measured in what? Oh, I just said it. What is that? You're right. Cubic units. Okay, that's all for 959. Let's move the 100 over to 960. The Donaldson Swimming Pool measures 15 meters long, 8 meters wide, and 3 meters deep. Okay, so we have 15 meters long, and then we have about 8 meters wide. And then 3 meters deep. And if you do little dots back here, you can see the bottom of the pool. Okay, close enough, right? How many cubic meters will the pool hold? So we're going to do 15 times 8 times 3. That's how we equal volume, length times width times height. So let's do 15 times 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 1, well, it was 1. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 120. Now we have to times it by 3. It'd be 0, 6, 3. 360, and we're measuring by meters. And it's a three dimensional object, so we do cute. Good job. Boy, that pool is struggling. There we go. That looks a little better, doesn't it? Next, number five. The hotel that the Hutchinson family is staying on vacation is shaped like a rectangular prism. That's kind of like what we drew there. It is 234 feet long, 158 feet wide, and 37 feet tall. What is the volume of the hotel? Okay, so it's like that, but standing up straight. So let's do 200. Volume is going to equal 234 times 158 times 37. Go ahead and start working on that. I bet you'll beat me. I'll work on it over here. Please make sure you keep everything lined up. So this is going to be a big number, and that's okay. This is where it's handy to have graph paper or scratch paper so you can write a big long problem. But that's right, we'll fit it on here. So four, sorry, eight times four is 30, 
to 8 times 3 is 24, 25, 26, 27. 8 times 2 is 16, 17, 18. Okay, we have our first one. Now, you could do the turtle head method. And realize you have to put a 0 there. 5 times 4 is 20. I can erase this so I don't get things confused. 5 times 3 is 15, 16, 17. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Keep everything straight. Okay, now you can do the turtle head with the 1s. And remember, we have to add two zeros now. So 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 2 is 2. There we go. Now, since you've kept everything straight, you should be able just to add them up. 2, 7, 8, plus 7 is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 3, 4, 5, 6. Oof. Now, we still need to add another number. We need to multiply by 37. Okay, this one's going to be a big one. We can do it, though. We can do hard things, right? Just keep everything straight. All right, 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 7 is 49. Plus 1 is 50. Carry the 5. Bring down the 0. 7 times 9 is 63. Sorry, answering a text message. 63 plus 5. So 5, 6, 7, 8. So 68 Okay, 7 times 6 is 42. 42 plus 6, 6, 7, 8. So this was 48. And then 7 times 3 is 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Whew, that's a beastly number. Okay, now I'm going to erase all of these little numbers here so I don't get them mixed up. Okay, turtle head method. Draw a turtle head there so you know that you're doing those numbers. Zero right there. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 9 is 20, 27. Yes, 27, 28, 29, 29. 3 times 6 is 18, 19, 20. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Four, six, nine. Ooh, that one's gonna be seventeen, six, three, one. Oof, that's a crazy number. All right, put our little commas right there, and we're gonna equal, say it equals. There you go. Three, six, seven, nine, sixty-four. Oof. 1,367,964, and what are we measuring this in? Feet cubed. Ooh, now that, my friends, is how you do long division. Please just make sure when you do long division you write your numbers really big so they, they have plenty of room and you keep them all lined up or you use graph paper. And please, did you notice how slow I went on that? That is the secret to getting it right. Okay crazy. Make sure you have that wrote down. And I am going to be looking for all this work on the side of your paper when I correct your homework. Okay, number six. Jenna has a small jewelry box in the shape of a cube with side lengths of two inches. How much greater is the volume of her large jewelry box with the dimensions of this, this, and this? Okay, so she has a cube. She has a perfect cube, which... Do we have a cube? Yes, we have a cube right there. So she has a cube like this, except it's in two inches. So we know two times two times two instead of 11. So two times two is four, and then four times two is eight. So the, the small box, the small box, we put S for small equals eight inches cubed. Okay, now they want us to do this one. So we need to find the volume of the large box, the large box. So let's do this. 7 times 5 is 35. 
and then we times it by four. So 35 times four by four. I'm doing a lot of this in my head, so hopefully you're able to follow along. Four times five is 20. Four times six is 12, 13, 14. So the large box is 140 inches cubed. How much greater is the volume of her large box? Okay, so here's the large box. How much greater is this one than this one? So is that asking me to add, subtract, multiply, or divide? You're right, to subtract. So I'm just going to take my 140 that's over here and subtract 8. And in my head, I know that's 132 inches cubed, 132 inches cubed. Circle that so I can find that easy, would you? Okay, this brain builder is quite tricky. Number seven, they want you to have two different prisms that each have a volume of 2,400 cubic centimeters. So it's kind of a guess and check. They want you to figure out what you can do to times to make 2,400. Or you can kind of just pretend there's 24 there. And what numbers can you times together to get 24? So you have 12, 2, and 1. And just add zeros to them. So 10, and this works, I promise. So we have 10 times 20 times 12. And that equals our 2,400, which is what it's asking right there. And just to prove that this one's right too, we have 10 times 10 times 24. 2,400. Okay, kind of a tricky one and that's why I helped you out with it because it's a lot of guess and check on that one. Is it possible for prisms to have two of the same dimensions? The answer is no. Because if they had the same dimensions they would be... Oh heavens to Betsy's. Would be the same prism. All right, there we go. All right, number nine, eight. Wow. What is the volume of the prism formed by the luggage bag? So look at this red line right here, and what is the volume? Remember, volume is length times width times height. So let's plug these numbers in. So the length, remember you can do these in any order. So let's do 22 times 10 times 30. Okay. 22 times 10, well, you just add a 0, 2, 2, 0, then times the 30, well, bring the 30 down. 0 times everything is 0, 0, 6, 6. Do you see that number there somewhere? 6,600 inches cubed. Yep, make sure I see this work right here, though, okay? All right, friends, thank you so much. Today is a treat because I am asking you guys to do your green vocabulary today. I am not going to assign any Alex topics or any IXL topics with this lesson. However, tomorrow I will assign some tomorrow, but we won't do a math lesson like this. So happy Friday, right? All right, friends, thank you for your time and have a great day.